In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up the homepage slider for the Amplitude WordPress theme. Now, the first thing to do once you have logged in to your uh, WordPress installation is to go to the homepage. Now, we have created one here for this purpose called Homepage Test. Likely, the one that you're going to create is going to called, be called Homepage. Um, to make sure that this appears as the home page of your theme, we first go to settings, reading, and make sure that we have set our newly created home page as the front page of the theme. So you can select it from the list here. So we've already done that. So we're going to go back to this page and we're going to start setting up the slider. So uh, to start uploading photos, we go to Upload Insert, which is located in the top left-hand corner above the editor. We then select the files that we want for the slider. So I'm going to go ahead here and we're going to select four different slides. Now, the slides that we have prepared here, the dimensions that we use for the demo are approximately 1600 by 500 pixels. So I'm going to go ahead and choose these four photos, let them upload. We're just going to wait until these have uploaded here. Do keep in mind that when you do prepare your images to optimize them, the ones that we ha have here are around 100 KB each. And that should work just fine. So once we have all these images uploaded here, we're going to go one by one here and edit them, add some captions, add videos, etc. So we're going to start with the first one here. I'm going to go ahead and add something for the first caption here. Now, this theme comes with uh, the possibility to add short codes to the slider. And I'm going to show you how to do that. But first, we're going to add all the captions and set it up. So we're going to write here. So that's my first caption here. Uh, the second thing I want to do here uh, while editing this is to make sure that we display it in the slider. So I set that to slider. I'm going to leave the first one here as a video. So what we do is we select the media type. Uh, we find the media type that we want to use from the list. So I'm going to choose Vimeo. And then I'm going to paste the uh, video URL. Now, in the case of Vimeo or YouTube, you simply have to paste the ID. You don't actually have to paste a full URL. The full URL is only used if you want to uh, display a self-hosted video using Flow Player. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to use the Vimeo video here. And this is the code that I got from the Vim Vimeo website, the embed code. But we don't need all that. We only need the... Uh, the idea of the video here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that out. Bring it back here. Paste that in. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, select the caption style that I want. Uh, we're going to have this is the first slide. So we're going to have a big caption here. Now, if you're having um, quite a bit of text, you can manage the caption with as well. Um, now I'm going to just put that to 300. Now since we have previewed that you may want to have a caption and a video, you can actually leave that empty if you prefer. Uh, but I'm going to set that to 300. I'm going to hide this one. I'm going to move to the next slide. Do the same here. Add a caption.
This time we are going to select a YouTube video. So I set it in slider, then select YouTube. Again, I only need to paste the um, ID of the video. Let me copy that out here. This time I'm going to use a big caption, but I'm going to right align it. So we're going to have the video on the left hand side. I'm not going to set a width here. I'm going to leave that blank so you can see how that works. Do the same process again, select it to appear in slider. I'm going to leave this one as an image. I'm then going to select a discrete caption. I'm not going to set a width. And then the last slide here. And there we have our last caption select it as an image and select a black box caption so I've now worked through my images here I've set them to appear in the slider I've set the different media types for them to appear so what I'm going to do now is that we're going to have a look at it and see if it looks the way that we want now once I've edited these images I'm just going to go ahead and hit the save all changes button here close this window and we are going to hit preview changes here so here we go this is the first slide with the first caption and the video and we have second caption here right aligned with a YouTube video we have a discrete caption down here and we have the box caption up here so it's very easy you have to try it out uh, do make the mistakes uh, try the different short codes try to style the text and uh, it's really easy. That's about all for this tutorial.